Joseph the Prisoner Joseph was taken down to Egypt to be sold by the merchants but God was still with him. A man called Potiphar, who was captain of Pharaoh's guard, bought Joseph to be a servant in his household. Potiphar saw that God was with Joseph and put him in charge of everything. Joseph told the other servants what to do and worked very hard for his master. The wife of Potiphar saw how handsome Joseph was and tried to make him love her. But Joseph would not do as she asked because he knew it was wrong and would hurt God and Potiphar. Potiphar's wife was very angry with Joseph and told lies about him so that her husband threw him into prison. Joseph was very sad but God caused the jailer to be kind to Joseph and put him in charge over the other prisoners. One day a prisoner who had worked for Pharaoh asked Joseph to explain his dream. He had seen a branch with three bunches of grapes and a hand pouring wine. Joseph said the dream meant in three days the butler would be set free and be working in the palace again. Another prisoner, who had once worked for Pharaoh as a baker, also asked Joseph to explain his dream. He had seen three baskets of baked food with one on his hand. The birds came and ate the food from the basket on his hand. Joseph sadly explained that this meant the baker would be executed in three days. Three days later the baker was executed and the butler was set free. Joseph asked the butler to remember him to Pharaoh as he was innocent and should not be in prison. Sadly the butler forgot all about Joseph as soon as he got back to the palace. Two years passed and then suddenly Joseph was freed from prison washed and dressed in clean clothes. This all happened because Pharaoh had a dream and no one could explain it. The butler had remembered how Joseph had explained his dream and told Pharaoh about him. Pharaoh had two dreams. In the first dream he saw seven fat cows come up out of the river and feed from the grass in the meadow. But then he saw seven thin cows come up out of the river and eat the seven fat cows. In another dream Pharaoh saw seven fat ears of grain growing on one stalk. Then he saw seven thin ears of grain eat up the seven fat ears of grain. Pharaoh had woken up very worried about the dreams and what the dreams meant. Joseph listened carefully and then explained the dreams. God says there will be seven years with plenty of food and then seven years with very little food. Choose a man to build storehouses gather the grain and store it when there is plenty. Then when there is little grain there will enough food stored away to feed people. Pharaoh saw that Joseph was very wise and put him in charge of all the grain collection and storehouses. He gave him a ring for his finger and a gold chain to wear around his neck. Everyone had to bow down before Joseph because he was now the second most important person in Egypt after Pharaoh.